So let's see how we can work on the read operation because the read operation obviously has to read these inputs out of here. So whatever that is. So let's assume that now um, I I put after making some operations like this. Uh, let's say we had uh, values of uh, one one. 1 and 0, 0, 0 in these locations. Somehow we did a bunch of writes and that's what we got. Now I want to reach a read, read from one of these memory locations and let's say I want to read from um, the location 1, 0. So, um, so this is my read and I'm going to use a different color. So my read is from 1 my read is from 1 0 which is this location and so I'm the read line is 0 and not a 1 anymore so what we'll notice is if the read line is 0 the outputs here are all zeros which means all the write enables are zeros here everywhere so which means that all of them are in their hold state and will not change but what will happen is that we still have because it's a input is one zero this is going to be a zero this is going to be a zero this is going to be a one and this is going to be a zero that's telling us that we want to read this row of values so how do i read this row of values obviously uh, the best the simplest way to think of it is i can read the row from here and i can just put it down here so let's say my output is here and i'm describing the output down here just so that it is simple but it doesn't have to be uh, let's let's do this so I'm going to say that the three bits are going to be coming out of here whatever those three bits are and they'll be from the memory location of interest to me that happens to be this particular memory location which has all zeros in it right now so so the way I'm going to do that is I take this output but I'm not going to directly take it out because it's only I only read this output when I have this line chosen. So I'm going to take these guys together and I'm going to put them into a AND gate. And I'm going to do the same thing. Take this and put it into an AND gate coming out of here. And take that again and put it into an AND gate coming out of here. So now the output of this AND gate will will be whatever this is because one of its inputs is a 1. So the other input which is this will determine what the output is. Similarly that's the same case here and the same case here. So I'm gonna take that out and that out and that out. Now the thing to remember is if this particular row has been chosen then I want this to be the output. On the other hand if this row was chosen I want that row's output to come here. So similarly so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy here and do the same thing because I know that it can be either this row, this row, or this row, any one of them can, can be the output that I'm gonna I'm seeking. So I'm gonna put these two guys into their own NAND gate. Similarly, I'm gonna take this and this and put those two guys into their own AND gate and similarly take this and this and put these two into their own hand gate and now I draw all of these guys down here and notice that if I depending upon which row I pick one of these only is going to be valid the rest of them will be invalid because all the others will have their input to the AND gate be a zero so it doesn't matter what is here that won't be right so now I put them all into an OR gate
and that is the output I read from here so this again is in my MDR because when I'm reading as opposed to writing this is the bit I get from the MDR and I similarly would get a bit like that from another OR gate into this position and another OR gate here would be the would be this position so this is my MDR if I'm reading so I'm drawing MDR here and here but only it is the same thing when I'm reading I'm looking at this when I'm writing I'm looking at that so now this picture will be duplicated in several places which means that now I have the same idea which is this guy is going to go from here and these two together will feed an AND gate similarly uh, this guy from here will come down here and these two together will feed an other AND gate and similarly this one will go into an AND gate like that so all these guys then uh, which is sorry that's that and this So then I have this picture kind of play out again in this context, which is going to be that. And these two go into an AND gate, and that's my input there. And this guy comes here, these two go here, and they become another AND gate, like so. And these two guys will come here, here, feed an AND gate, and that will come down here. So this is a, a design of a 4x3 memory module. And now, if I were trying to read a particular location, so let's say in this case I was reading the memory location, one zero which is my location right here if i'm reading memory location one zero this will have a one which means that what will happen is this input here is a one this input here is a one the input here is a one but the rest of these and gates all have their one of their inputs be a zero which means that what they feed into their respective or gates is nothing it's a zero but what this one feeds into his OR gate is whatever is here, which happens to be zero. So what comes out here is a zero. Similarly, what comes out of this AND gate is this zero, which is going to go here. And what whatever is in this, this is going to come here, and that's going to be my zero here. Now let's look at another read operation. Let's say my my inputs my my MAR was a zero zero and I had uh, again a read line reading that is being enabled so now if it's zero zero I notice that now what's gonna happen is this one will be a no longer be a zero but that will be a one this will be a zero this will be a zero this will be a zero but and this one will make sure that this is a one 
and this is a 1 and this is a 1 but all the others will be zeros for example this will be a 0 this will be a 0 a 0 here and so similarly this will be a 0 a 0 a 0 here and this input is a 0 a 0 and a 0 here now this 1 1 1 will make sure that whatever is in this gate in this D latch which is 1 will come out of here which happens to be now a 1 similarly whatever is here will come out here which is a 1 whatever is here comes out here which is 1 so it's just that the example I chose I chose such that this has all 1's in it and all zeros in it if for example this had a 1 1 0 here so let's say this was a 0 then what I would get here is also a 1 1 0